So Hot Toys is dropping figures like crazy. Four figures in less than 10 days. But do you want to know what's next? Well, let's find out. Hello everyone, Manufa Collectibles here with another episode of What's Next. And yes, we survived, episode 2 is here, and we have a lot to talk, we have a lot to talk. But before we start, I want to thank you, because I read your comments, I got your feedback, and you guys like episode 1, so I'm very happy that this show is, is getting there, you know, there's more room for improvement, so anything that you want to say to me in the comments, leave me a know. Any constructive criticism is much, much appreciated. But we have a show tonight and we have a lot to talk. First, we're going to talk about the list. And yes, we spoke about this on episode one, but don't worry, I'm not going to go over the same figures. I'm just going to explain to you the reason of that list. Also, I'm going to show you the lineup of the next figures that we're supposed to see very, very soon. And at the end, I'm going to show you the bigger mover section, courtesy of my friend Eris from SixScaleCantina.com. So we have a lot to talk. Let's dive in right now. All right, guys. So the first thing is we got four figures already released. We got the Death Wash. We got Rex. We got Gwen. And we got Maz Morales. So come on four figures in less than 10 days that's a record to me <laughs> that's a record to me but let's start with this first figure we got Maz Morales out and uh, I have mixed feelings about this <laughs> well first of all I didn't play the game so I'm not I don't know anything about the game this fig the figure looks pretty nice I have to give that to Hot Toys I love the design I love the detail I love the cat as well. <laughs> he looks pretty cute. Not as cute as my friend over here. But uh, but then, you know, the suit. You know, with the Spider-Man, you need to be very careful. You need to be very, very careful, especially when you do the poses. Um, those suits doesn't help at all, to be honest with you. Um, yes, you can, you can do a nice shot. So you can do some poses here and there. But if you want to leave it long term, I will definitely not recommend that. Because, you know, you might break it. Uh, this is a pretty good pose i have to say that you can see the joints at the bottom of the feet i think we may have some good swivel there now this pose is a big stream so i will definitely not do that long term maybe for the picture like this one ultra ben one of the best photographers so shout out to you my friend awesome pictures always 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 i love this shot as well now this is mas morales i'm not sure if i'm gonna get it let me know in the comments below if i should so if you want to see this figure coming let me know and I'll definitely do the unboxing and review. And that was it for Mas Morales, who was released a couple days ago, because today is the 6th for you, the 5th for me when I'm recording, and this video was released on the 4th. Too many numbers, too many numbers. I'm running, I'm running crazy right now. But then we have another figure that was also released, and uh, I wasn't expecting this at all. I was not expecting this at all, but I'm happy this happened because... I kind of like the movie though. <laughs> I really enjoyed the movie and that's none other than Gwen. And she looks pretty cartoonish to me, which is amazing because she looks exactly like the show. I mean, this picture is beautiful as well. BG Toy Art, thank you so much, my friend, for this amazing shot. And I have to tell you guys, I'm going to get this one. <laughs> yes, I'm going to get this one. Stay tuned for the unboxing and review. I'm going to complete my Miles Morales line. So I can't wait to show you. But the first impression, very positive, obviously. The pictures help a lot. I mean, I think this is a great, great shot. I have a good feeling about this figure in terms of articulation. I need to have it in hand to feel the texture of the suit. I'm not sure if that's going to be durable or not. I can see some creases here. But again, let's wait for the unboxing and review. And then we'll make our own judgment because let me tell you guys, this figure looks very nice as well. And that was it for the two releases so far this week. Now, a lot of people asking me, you know, okay, what's next? What's going on? What do we have? But before I do that, I want to talk about a little bit about the list. So, you know, we got a list last week and uh, I did a video, episode one of what's next. And I explained that the list was of delayed figures. Well, um, I was talking to my sources and uh, 
apparently the, that list was made based on the amount of pre-orders so that means that the figures that were that we're going to be seeing in the next few weeks the delayed list were because the numbers were low on pre-orders now you know I, most of the figures i can relate to that i can actually say yes but for rex did we have did we really have low numbers in terms of pre-orders for rex i don't know maybe we need to talk to my friend eris Cisco cantina because he's the wizard even though he says he's not but i don't know but if you list, if you see the lineup of the list right we got um captain america 2012 we got loki from uh, avengers endgame we got um harley quinn for the video game bad girl we got another Mars morales we got a few more figures and you know they're not as popular but it kind of you know it kind of makes sense the reason why those were delayed right and obviously what happened with the mark 85 disaster that delayed pretty much everything and now is offering but good thing is that there's always light at the end of the tunnel now we're seeing all these figures coming to live but anyway i just wanted to mention that out because i think it's very worth to mention now there is a figure that is coming very 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 soon is none other than you know you know who it is you know who it is is Ahsoka Tano. So she is, according to my sources, is coming very soon. Perhaps this or next week. But she's coming. So get ready because she is inevitable. Well, <laughs> I hope you guys don't disappear. But yeah, she's coming very soon. So we should see Ahsoka coming in the next week. Or maybe this week. You know, so she's she's in the lineup of releases. But we have other figures that are also in the lineup for releases. And one of those figures is the one and only. Are you ready for this, guys? Are you ready for this? So this guy is supposed to be coming very soon as well. And it is the one quarter scale Mandalorian. So some rumors is that this figure is in the final stretch. So we should see the guys, this guy coming very soon as well. And I have to tell you, I don't collect one quarter scale figures, but this is definitely one of them. Now, whether this is happening this month or next month, I don't know. I was told that this is this is the rumors that this guy is in the list for this Q4. And I have to tell you, I can't wait for this one. I mean, I really can't wait for this one, especially because it comes with a very sick diorama base. And this is just amazing. You can see IG-11 at the bottom, the base. I mean, this looks insane. So this figure should be coming soon as well, according to what I was told. Now, just take everything with a grain of salt because sometimes things can get delayed because it happened before. It's not the first time now another figure that is also rumored to be in the in the lineup for next figures is the one and only commander stormtrooper and this one i can see coming very soon because it's really a stormtrooper with a with the extra accessory on the shoulder <laughs> so you know i can see this one coming very soon as well and remember, if you've been following us on my six scale and filter shows with Easy Company Collectibles, we spoke about figures with helmets and uh, that they're going to be kind of like prioritized and we're going to be seeing those sooner. And so far, it's been happening. So I think the pattern is there and this guy should be next in the list, which is, which is good because, you know, who doesn't like stormtroopers i mean everyone does <laughs> you know this those are easy easy busy <laughs> easy to make easy money right so that guy is coming very very soon as well now there's another figure that uh, i'm gonna show you as well that i was told that it might be also releasing this this year and it is none other than the mustard artillery stormtrooper so again it will make perfect sense to me if they do the commander trooper to do this one because they're pretty much the same thing different paint application you know it, it should be an easy 
thing to do. So I have a feeling that we're going to see a bunch of troopers being released before the end of the year because it will make perfect sense to me. So this guy is scheduled to be released Q1 next year, but don't be surprised if this guy is pushed for this year, which I honestly think it is very possible to happen. And there will be a huge thing because I love troopers. Now, another figure that I also mentioned on my previous shows and filter shows especially is this guy, the transport trooper. Now, according to what I heard, the numbers of the pre-orders are really, really low on this one. So don't expect a huge quantity of this. So if you can get this guy, you should, because the pre-order numbers are low based on what I heard and what I was told. Um, and again, it's a trooper, really nothing crazy in terms of Hescope, so it should be an easy peasy release. Let's see what happens with Hatos. You know, Hatos has the last word all the time. We just kinda share the info to you guys. That's all we need to do, share the info. Sharing is caring, right? Um, another figure that is also rumored to be out sooner rather than later is this guy here which is the Shore Trooper Squad Leader. So this guy is from Rogue One, and honestly, I don't see why not. They pretty much have a, they pretty much have everything ready for this guy to be released. So it's a matter of time. Again, we're gonna see the pattern of figures coming, especially the troopers. So let's hope, fingers crossed, that we see this figure coming sooner rather than later. Now, let's gonna move on to another set of figures that are also rumored to be happening very soon. And we spoke about this on my friend Eris Siska Cantina's show, which is Darth Maul from Clone Wars. I have a feeling that we're gonna see the whole line of Clone Wars this year, including Darth Maul. And a lot of people are gonna be very happy about this because this is a really good figure, especially the Hescope. I love the Hescope. And we already got Rex, we have Cody, we have Ahsoka coming very soon as well. So this guy will complement all those figures. And people asking me, is Anakin ever happened? Yes, Anakin, according to what I was told again, is supposed to be released in Q4 this year. Some, sometime in Q4. Whether it's gonna happen or not, it's up to Hot Toys. I'm just sharing the information to you guys. So that's Darth Maul. And hopefully we will see him sooner rather than later. Now, another figure, and again, we spoke about this in my friend's Ares show, is of course one of, to me, one of the most anticipated figures, is Lando Calrissian. We should see Lando as well. This is a 40th anniversary. Now, unless there is some craziness going on, you know, we should expect to see this guy very soon as well. Now, how soon? My guess, late October, early November, we should see this guy coming. This is a 40th anniversary edition, so it has the nice packaging with a nice window design. So don't sleep on it because according to what I heard, numbers are really, really low for this guy in terms of pre-orders. Now maybe the final product is a, is a hit and everyone start like pre-ordering right away and maybe this figure can be sold out very soon. And that's basically it for Lando Calrissian. All right, guys, so now let's talk about another figure as well that I'm very happy um, and really hope that this happened sooner. I was told that this was supposed to be released uh, in Q1, but it was pushed to be probably released in Q4. Again, this is just a rumor, and you know who I'm talking about is, of course, Django Fett. So this figure here is scheduled to be released Q4 according to SciShow. According to the rumors and the sources I have, this figure might see the light before the end of the year. And it will make sense because we have the Mandalorian in December. This is not part of the Mandalorian world, but but you know what I'm saying, right? It is a, it is a Mandalorian still. So we should see this guy coming hopefully by the end of the year. And if anything is pushed, then you know, it's hot toys. Don't blame me. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I always say that. So this guy should be soon, hopefully December, which it is my guess. But uh, let's see what happens with this guy. Now, uh, moving on to the next set of news I have. Um, everyone knows that I, um, you know, I did the review on Venom the other day and I was very happy. I love the figure. I think it was 
very nicely done and especially now that we're gonna get the carnage with the uh, possibility to have the Hescop for the um for venom you know um i guess the hype the hype is real guys the hype is real so what happened now well venom is well listed <laughs> the collector's edition wait listed exclusive version is wait listed if you can join the wait list you know i heard a lot of people converting to another so you know i think this is your chance i'm not sure if Hatos is gonna do another version of this um i said before that i had a feeling that they might but i don't know now because they they're giving us a headscope with carnage so you know maybe that's the reason why people are jumping on this and this figure didn't see the light at all this was on pre-order now is waylist so i think the hype is real um if you are fan marvel fan if you're a fan of this particular character you should try to get it right join the waylist and wait <laughs> you know that's the, your best bet or you can contact my friend ray from howard's toys i think he has a few left um in inventory so when it comes he will start shipping so contact him i'm gonna put the link in the description below if you're interested in contact him and get this figure on pre-order put it at least on the list so you know venom movie was actually pretty good i actually went to the movies on sunday and uh saw carnage and i loved the movie a lot of craziness going on especially the after credits you guys need to stick around and watch that because it's sick very very sick but anyway moving on to the next one another figure that is supposed to be released soon and this is the reason why this figure is not or was not in the delay list that hot toys released the other the other week it's because the numbers of this figure pre-order wise is insane so we're gonna see a lot of of these figures coming a lot of pre-orders for this particular character and you know who i'm talking you know who i'm talking about is of course mark 85 battle damage so this figure is scheduled to be released anytime i would not be surprised if we see this guy this month sometime this month it, it is there i mean this figure has to be out there's no more delays unless hatus goes crazy and decides to push all the figures right but this figure is scheduled to be out anytime now so let's wait fingers crossed and hoping this figure comes good with no freaking issues on the headscope. I don't want to see anything crazy on this guy. I don't want to see craziness on the headscope. I just want to get this one. Don't change it. Just give me this one. Please. I'm begging you. Por favor. <laughs> I have to run it a little bit, right? But yeah, I want this guy. This is going to be my ultimate Iron Man. I can wait for the release for this figure so that's that's iron man ladies and gents now another figure that is scheduled as well to be out and this is a 2021 toy fair exclusive is i feel like we have a lot of figures man but anyway is the spider-man cyborg spider-man suit this figure is supposed to be out this year as well so let's wait for this i don't know if i'm gonna get this one i'm not a big fan of this particular design even though it doesn't look bad but um as you can see guys <laughs> you can see the pattern here right we're getting a lot of stuff this year and without mentioning the previous list batgirl harley quinn um loki captain america captain marvel so we have a bunch of figures and the way they're going i have a feeling that we're gonna see two figures every week that's my guess we already got two so for this week we got two already maybe one more maybe get, we get three a week it is possible we've seen it right so far four figures in 10 days come on so so yeah so this guy is also in the list of coming very soon toy fair exclusive 2021 so has to be released 2021 right <laughs> has to be um so that's it now the other figure this is the reason why i told you guys that you should get your gwen because this guy is also in the list of coming soon figures now according to this one is supposed to be released q4 so we are in q4 whether this is going to be sooner rather than later i think hot toys is going to be pushing all these figures that are in the bottom list so they can just wash their hands make these figures go everyone is happy everything is awesome and we start singing the kumbaya song i'm just kidding we're not but 
you know this guy should be coming soon as well and as you can see q4 is gonna be insane i need another job for sure and maybe you too so that was mas morales and last but then least from the freaking list <laughs> oh my goodness we have another one which is the marble zombies death pool zombie thing <laughs> so this one here is also scheduled to be coming in q4 expected to ship october and december you know i know you forgot about this guy i'm just gonna bring you to your attention that this guy is also coming very soon um i actually spoke to one of my sources and asked him if this is gonna happen they told me that they don't know i'm just sharing this information because the website says october november and there is no it was not listed on the list for potential delays so here we go this guy is probably coming soon too so you have another figure in your list make sure you budget yourself because trust me q1 is gonna hit us hard q sorry q4 is gonna hit us hard and this is good this is good because we were complaining about delays we were complaining about pre-orders now how does it give you the figures so guess what we're gonna stay complaining i'm not complaining in general i'm talking in general i'm happy that i can see all these figures finally coming out i'm tired of collecting pre-orders and i'm pretty sure you too and this is gonna bring me to the last segment of the show which is sponsored by my friend eris from six Club cantina and is called biggest movers section courtesy of six scale cantina.com all right guys so now let's start with the website so if you want to go to six cantina.com you're going to see a beautiful nicely done website with all the figures that are trending up and trending down this is for star wars only so if you are a star wars fan and you want to buy a certain figure but you have no idea how much you should pay for it you need to check this website six cantina.com and get the price right <laughs> because if you want to overpay don't come to this website <laughs> just make sure you check it out because the, trust me you can get good figures at a really good price and this is an average of prices if you go to six uh channel eris can explain to you how he gets all this data because it is a lot of information but anyway going to this section the final section of the date the biggest movers courtesy again from my friend sixcantina.com we have uh, Ray and he mentioned this in his show that Ray is now $300 tier range so that's a huge increase if you ask me for a figure that pretty much no one like but then when it was released the Hasco was amazing huge improvement from the prototype Commander Cody we knew it's gonna be trending up because Rex is out so this makes perfect sense now for the one that is trending actually down is the Remnant Trooper my personal opinion is that we may see this guy coming up again because the Mandalorian is a, it's a really good show. <laughs> then we have Yoda for a Attack of the Clones trending up as well. Same as Han Solo Stone Trooper, which is a very nice figure and I regret big time not getting it. Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi we know is trending now because the, the one from the um, Rise of Skywalker is amazing. So definitely makes sense why this is trending down we have leia organa from the last jedi also trending up same as luke stone trooper and of course han solo deluxe from the solo movie now i'm just gonna go to the rest of the list we have k2so trending down and my theory is that the under show is coming and we're definitely gonna see a version of k2so so you know maybe people are getting ready for this right the other figure that is turning up is luke skywalker from the last jedi by far this is my favorite look so if you can get this one at a good price by all means you should pull the trigger and another figure that is turning up as well is darth maul dx16 now the uh, the short troopers trending down a little bit the yawa and the hung droid is turning up same as leia ender which is my favorite version of leia in terms of uh, accessories and Obi-Wan or Obi-Wan Ben Kenobi also trending up and last but not least Darth Vader from Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary is trending up I'm telling you guys this website is amazing you should definitely watch and follow this you know this this website go to my friends Aries 
Cisco Cantina, I put the link in the description below. CiscoCantina.com, that's his website. So Aries, thank you, my friend, for giving me the chance of using your tool to share the information to everyone. So, you know, I really hope you guys enjoy that little section I have at the end, the biggest movers section. And uh, that's basically it, guys. That's all I have for today. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm working on Captain Rex um, unboxing and review, so stay tuned. It's coming very soon, same as the Death Watch. And I'm going to be working on Gwen's review as well. So all those figures coming to the channel, you know the drill. Stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to have a live stream this Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And we have the full panel. Aries from Cecil Cantina, Fabio from Fast Figures, Desi from Metamorphic Costumes, Easy Company Collectibles in the house. Yes, he's coming. Easy Company Collectibles and myself. So we're going to be five people this Friday. We just want to keep it that way because I know I got good feedback and some other good feedback that when it's too many people, we don't have a chance to talk. So we want to keep it five people now. I'm waiting for Easy's final confirmation. Fingers crossed. He already he's 80 percent confirmed. <laughs> so let's wait for that and that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel also i have a membership going on and i'm going to be working on a special show only for members so if this is something that you like by all means you can join button right there the join button next to the subscribe check what it comes with if you like it by all means you should consider because that really helps the channel don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group Six Girl Media for anything related. One Six Girl Figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video. <laughs>